Absolutely, we've been involved for over a year now in developing these apprenticeships, so really exciting to see it all come to fruition and to talk to some apprentices as well, which is really encouraging. That, that really makes it very real. Yes, we've been looking at this and talking to some colleagues in other firms for over a year now, um, and we're launching this summer. We're going to have two places to start off with, two different departments, um, at a sort of, hopefully at a level three one that's um, finalised. Um, and we're looking at this very much as a strategic partnership with the various bodies um, so that we start now, but we're looking to develop this and see this as a, a really an important part of our HR strategy moving forwards. Um, I hope innovation, um, I hope that's something that the, our apprentices can bring. Um, the qualifications are focusing very much on their knowledge at the moment, which is great. Um, so I hope they can bring uh, the, the normal legal skills, you know, drafting and, and analysing, etc. Um, hopefully with, with a fresh take. I think they'll be really beneficial. What we're looking for, certainly as a, in a modern law firm, is the opportunity to recruit at all types of levels through a range of pathways. And uh, we will continue to recruit uh, standard graduates for, uh, with the LPC. But what we're looking at is making sure that our team reflects both the place that we are headquartered in and to a certain extent the society that we are working in and serving. So we're looking for a range of people from a range of ages, both at the top and the bottom in terms of how we recruit. So we'll be looking at the possibility with an ABS that our um, ILEX qualified uh, staff can become partners at the same time as we're looking and have signed up for level four apprenticeships so that we can make sure that we are getting people in with the right skills, that they're having an opportunity to demonstrate those and that we can develop loyalty with our members and staff and we think it's quite possible that in the next two or three years we will be recruiting our next managing partner. We just don't know from which route they will come. I think that the beauty of the apprenticeship scheme um, which I've observed is, is how it's much more rounded in terms of business development, additional skills such as maths and English and making sure that those skills are right um, as part of the apprenticeship program. The legal apprenticeships aren't as broad as the Silex qualification um, but they are much more job focused um, and that's going to be a good thing for our employment prospects within those fields. I think um, there's a huge wealth of talent waiting there for us. I think the fact that we're, we're getting them at such a, an early stage in the development of their career means that they're bringing um, all those skills, particularly non-legal skills to start with, things like IT, things like keyboard skills um, and, 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 and the confidence. I think the fact that they're going to be engaged with our client's business um, from day one and from such an early stage in the client's business, so right from the administration, right from opening a file up, right through to learning um, a service level agreement that relates to a client or to a protocol, how to address a client, um, what that client's business is about. These are all fundamentals which I think um, will be so important to them when they then come to start doing the legal work that relates to that client. And I think that's one of the uh, differentiators between a trainee solicitor who um, will come in with their, you know, with their legal knowledge, admittedly, but won't have that background in terms of the, um, the, the, the contact and the engagement they'll have had with the client's business to enable them to deliver the service, which the apprentices, I think, will be able to do at a much earlier stage. I think as far as our clients are concerned, and they are as committed, I think, to this programme as we are, we will have a chance of employing people and upskilling them, but also allowing us to make sure that people are doing the right work at the right level, which allows us to main, remain competitive in the market, which is something that we want to do. And I guess to ensure that for every client that we have who has needs, we've got members of staff who understand where they're coming from and can relate to those particular demands. Well, obviously, you know, we're under a lot of pressure now um, in terms of the work that I do is litigation work and all the um, civil uh, justice reforms are, uh, are there. Um, we're being put under pressure in terms of fees and in terms of the way that we're going to have to gear how we, you know, we, how we deal with our service delivery in terms of the advice that we give to our clients and the, the work that we're undertaking on behalf of some of our big organisational clients in particular. Um, and I think having, yes, without doubt, having more junior people within the organisation is going to help with that gearing, 
but that needn't dumb down the quality of the service that we're giving. Um, so I think for our clients, um, hopefully they will be attracted to the idea, and I know many of our clients are attracted to the idea of our having apprentices um, within the business, um, as long as they're obviously, and, and they will be properly supervised by uh, the right level of lawyer and, and, until they're able to take on the work themselves. And I think also, you know, we've talked to clients about the possibility of, of swapping apprentices with them, giving each apprentice an opportunity to have a taste of, of our client's business and for the client to have a taste of what it's like within the legal profession as well. So I, I think there are lots of opportunities. I think undoubtedly the future of the law and the legal profession lies um, with a lot more lower qualified people perhaps and not a lawyer isn't going to be needed for every type of work and every piece of that work. Um, the important thing is that the employers need to engage and are engaging in dictating what it is that they want and I think that is usurping in a sense the role of universities historically who have produced a, a fairly bland law degree um, which many employers are now thinking really doesn't do the job which is why the employers are so keen to get involved and set up apprenticeships where they can determine what what their employees will look like and what work they'll be doing. Absolutely. I think for a long time it's been a big concern that actually with the increase in fees um, and the, the sort of restriction in the amount of opportunities for young people that we're actually missing out on a whole raft of very skilled young people who, who just think that, that the law is not for them, it's too exclusive. Um, and we see this as a real opportunity to develop um, work-based learning, which is something that we have a huge ethos of for everybody within the firm. We, we involve all our fee earners right the way up to the managing partner in a continuing programme of education. Um, and we see the apprenticeship route into education as really a part of that strategy. Um, there was a wide range of reasons why we uh, looked into the apprenticeship scheme. Diversity was one of them, um, cost base was another, and corporate responsibility as well, so all three elements. Um, we wanted to make sure that we weren't missing out on the really bright, switched on young people that didn't want to go to university, and that was our main driver. We, we put so much investment, and we have done historically, into graduate recruitment and attracting the very best talent out of university, but we were missing this whole swathe of, of young people who actually, for, for whatever reasons, decided not to go to university, and we wanted to be able to create a pathway for them so we could, we could capture them as well and give them an opportunity at the profession. I mean, Thomas Egg is a classic example of that. We have some very senior people within the firm who started um, as secretaries and have qualified all the way up. Because let's face it, this isn't new. I think what happened in the past decade or so is people stopped realising that there was this pathway through the law. And this has really re-energised that process. But also, obviously, as legal skills have become more specialised, what we needed was a way of recognising paralegals working in a specialist area and giving them that career route through. And that's what's quite unique about what these core competencies have developed. Absolutely, and, and it's something that we've done for many, many years. You know, we, we have a, um, a large population of um, alternatively qualified uh, solicitors, lawyers, um, whether that be through Silex or paralegal or actually just um, qualified through experience. Um, so it's not something that's a new concept to us, but this is allowing us to, to focus and structure that pathway. I think if you uh, were working in HR and D and not thinking about how you recruit and where you recruit from, and the type of skills that you're looking for, it would be a blinkered view. And we've had a number of years where we've recruited only from um, a particular pot, if you like. And to a certain extent, it served us well 20 or 30 years ago. But now I think we're looking for people who've got a range of skills. And that doesn't just mean looking at the university sector. 
multiple skills as well. I think in terms of things like IT knowledge has been, you know, we, it's been a real opener for us, how much IT knowledge our apprentices have got already and how they can help us with things like management information and presentation of reports um, and things like that. Whereas um, you know, previously there have been, there's been the traditional legal secretarial role, which, you know, is sadly uh, a dying art, but we've, we're seeing that replaced now with pool of youngsters who've got these different talents that uh, are able to supplement and complement what we're doing. Yes, no, it's absolutely fantastic that the government supports the concept of apprenticeships and the critical thing about that is that law should be available and open to everybody, whatever your background. But you're absolutely right. We've had something akin to apprenticeships for 50 years. The earn and learn route through what is now Silex has been available for that long and enables you to qualify as a fully qualified professional lawyer within five years. <laughs>